Back pain, knee pain, stomach aches, headaches, we all get them. Some experience this pain more often than others. Experts say painkillers are the common go-tos to find relief, but before popping some pills, they recommend a natural approach. So to help us simplify this process, we brought in Dr. Ayla Gerace, the Northern University resident physician, to show us five acupressure points that we should know. So doc, tell me a little bit about how oh. acupressure, thank you for being here. Absolutely, thank you for having me. How does acupressure work? Yeah, so acupuncture or acupressure mm -hmm. is a gentle way to introduce acupuncture. Yeah. It's basically using either your fingertips to stimulate an acupuncture point or a tool to stimulate that same point. In traditional Chinese medicine, acupuncture or acupressure um, can unblock energy. So we have energy channels, um, also known as meridians, that run through the body. Mm -hmm. And whenever they're blocked or disrupted, it can present as a physical symptom like pain. Right. And so using acupressure, gently stimulating those points can help unblock those energy channels. It can also help our body release our own natural painkiller, endorphins. Oh, we so like that. It's a How do we get whammy. more of those? Exactly. Okay. More of those. Okay, so look, we're going to work through our body here. Yes. Uh, the headache, the stress, and insomnia. Yes. Where do we go for this? So we'll start at the top. We'll start uh -huh. right at, at a point right in between our eyebrows known okay. as yin tong. This is a really, really strong point to help with anxiety, agitation. Mm. headaches that are f uh, felt in the front of the head oh. and so this is an easy point to just stimulate if you're in traffic and you're like oh my god I'm so <laughs> agitated or if you have pain in the head okay so what is number two number two is large intestine four which is right here in between your finger and your thumb so that little meaty spot yeah right okay. there large intestine four and this is the command point for the head and the neck oh. so any pain associated with the face like jaw pain or toothache pain and any neck pain and headache as well oh, I'm pinching. Really easy. I don't have to pinch you, you can you can apply a little bit of pressure how long are we doing this for and how often just a few seconds oh. um, and just really stimulating that area and you can do this as long as you want as often as you want Yeah. It won't hurt. Here Our next go. point uh -huh. is heart seven, which is at the wrist crease along the pinky side. So oh. right here in that dip, that's heart seven. It's sensitive. Why is it sensitive? And that's a good point for any anxiety associated with the heart, oh. depression, insomnia, palpitation. Oh. Sometimes when the points are tender, it means they might need a little bit of love. Oh, so I'll give you an extra little. There. Yeah. Uh -oh. We have pericardium <laughs> six, which is also at the wrist crease. You'll take your thumb to your wrist crease and then move one, two points down. And it's right here in the middle of the two. What are we treating here? And this is good for any nausea. Oh. This is good for if you're feeling, if you're going to vomit, if you're feeling any GERD, gas, the gastric reflux, oh. GERD-like symptoms and anxiety as well. There are actually C-bands that you can wear, and they apply pressure right over <laughs> pericardium six yeah, for that say. <laughs> motion sickness. Yes. All right. Heart seven. Is that where we're going This next? one's right here. This is the one we went over. So okay. our last point uh -huh. is stomach 36. Okay. And where this one's coming? actually in our leg. So if you go to your kneecap, then you move to the outside of the kneecap towards the pinky side. Mm -hmm. That's stomach 36, and this is another big command point. This is good for anything associated with the stomach. So we're talking about constipation, diarrhea, abdominal pain of any sort, also fatigue, and just helping with overall energy. Oh my gosh. So something as simple as just pressing down on these yeah. points. And you have some uh, bottles yes. here. What, what is this? These are another form of the traditional Chinese medicine. Um, as naturopathic doctors, we can yeah. use herbs. So these are blends of different um, med medicinal herbs that are either specifically used through traditional Chinese medicine or other herbs that are local to us here in Arizona and they're blended together to work better together again this is kind of like a, a multitude way to treat pain right yeah. so you have the pressure over the points and then you give your body the nutrients it needs to keep stimulating that yeah. chi and that energy oh my gosh yeah. well thank you so much great Absolutely. information I'm gonna yes. study my notes yes please and, do and uh, if you see me in the newsroom like this yep yep You and know. for anybody that's interested, <laughs> yes. you know, these are simple ways to get started. Mm -hmm. um, but I would definitely recommend that you come check us out at yes. Sonoran University. We're right at the heart of Tempe. Um, we treat a variety of different things. We're also a way to help people who are excited about their health and their wellness yeah. and the well-being of their family. So please visit at us at patients.sonoran.edu for more information. What are your crossroads? We're right off the 101 on Broadway. Perfect. We're Great right access. at the heart of Tempe. <laughs> Easy Thank you access. So much. You're Thank welcome. you, Doctor, for your time Absolutely. today. Absolutely. Wonderful pleasure, information. Thank you. Uh, we have all the information on azfamily.com. Click on the scene on TV tab. We have the info on our app as well. Well, it's a beautiful morning for some golf, and we're hanging out at the uh, Camelback course. Check it out. It is the